<laughs> oh, boy's packing. Yeah, that's a cup. I figured that was a cup. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Oh, shit. Hey. I'm telling you right now, dude, don't be around. That's the second time playing dumb shit. You're going to get up. Mm. Oh, man. What is going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a brand new Street Beef Breakdown. This is where the channel all started from. What got me excited about breaking down videos. Street Beef, Miles versus Death Sentence, MMA. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live. Let's give this video a little watchy. Uh, looks like someone's getting drug away. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, I'm telling you right now, dude. Don't be around. That's the second time you're playing dumb. Uh-oh. Looks like, looks like Wolverine had to pull out the claws. Uh, 130 pounds. Bro. I am death center! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, I, I want to go back real quick. Let's, uh, <laughs> shit. I, this man is, uh, packing or, uh, uh okay, go. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that, that's a cup. 30 pounds. Bro. I am death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Homeboy's packing. All right, here we go. Let's go. 5,925 125 pounds to death sentence. All right, I like the outfit, man. I, I love it. <laughs> Round one, power. Oh shit! <laughs> oi, oi, oi! <laughs> oh my God, sorry. <laughs> He's still beating the f at his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh he's worried like that <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. Hey, there's homeboy. Oh man. <laughs> You're about to fight. <laughs> yeah, that's a cup. I figured that was a cup. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Ladies and gentlemen, this video is sponsored by Kudo Snacks. Now, if you're trying to have a healthy snack, guilt free, look no further. Kudo Snacks has got you covered. Now, it comes with three delicious flavors. My favorite, mm-hmm, the salty, sweet kettle corn. It's always been my favorite and always will be my favorite. And then you also have the garlic parmesan, John, 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 for all my garlic lovers out there. And then you can never forget the old classic flavor. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the white cheddar. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can give yourself a better option when it comes to healthy snacking. All you gotta do is go to kudosnacks.com and make sure you use my promo code MIGHTY. That'll save you 25% on your complete order on the whole entire store. So do yourself a favor, get yourself some healthy snacks at kudosnacks.com, 10 grams of protein, of deliciousness, three multiple flavors. These three delicious flavors, all gluten-free, no preservatives, 10 grams of protein. Do yourself a favor, go to kudosnacks.com and use my promo code MIGHTY and that will save you 25% on your complete order. Stop making the wrong choice in the kitchen when you're trying to cheat and you want to have a healthy snack. Get yourself some Kudo Snacks. And thank you to our sponsor, kudosnacks.com. Back to the video. <laughs> oh. 
ladies and gentlemen i think this is what everybody needs after the weekend of uh of the fights i think everybody needs to go laugh and have a good belly laugh and i think you guys are gonna enjoy this one <laughs> ooh, ooh. good takedown pass his guard immediately He's in the back of head like it ain't nothing. Oh, geez, look at that. His arm. Gee. Uh oh. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Hey, I'm telling you right now, dude. Don't be around. That's the second time you play a dumb shit. Get out of here. You're going to get up. Mm. All right. Let's go down and break down this fight. Uh, not very cool for that guy to hang on to the choke like that. Um, the guy tapped. That's why we tap because we don't want to pass out or suffer any brain injuries. Uh, but I want to go back and break down some of this stuff. I think if Miles doesn't have any uh, bruises on his back, I'll be absolutely shocked. Okay, I want to go here and I want to show the athletic ability of this gentleman flying across the cage. Let me get my epic pin out right now. This is one way to cross the void, ladies and gentlemen. You notice this gentleman didn't get hit one bit when he crossed the void. And if anything, he actually crossed the void and got a lot of shots off on his opponent, Miles. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Round one. There we go. All right. Comes out. Flies across. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that void, boys. Crosses that void with ease. With the elegance of a crane jumping. The knee is there. Full athletic ability crossing that distance. And I want to just pause it real quick. I'm going to go right through and watch it. Watch it. Watch him cross that. Cross that distance. Doesn't get hit one bit. Crosses the distance. Flies across. Doesn't get hit one bit. He has no choice but to block. Coming down with the axe. The axe throw. Okay. Blocks, gets right on him, and suffers no damage across the distance. You have seen athletes in the pro level do this before. One of them is Fabricio Verdum versus uh, Travis Brown. He comes across the distance, throws a, a flying sidekick, lands it, almost destroys Travis Brown's uh, trachea. All right, let's uh, go a little more breakdown. Okay, right away, he goes to that angle. He goes to a beautiful angle. He's at this angle. This guy's eyes are pointing down. He comes to the angle, and now he's going to beat the loving hell out of this gentleman, this gentleman's back. Okay, so beautiful angle by death sentence. He gets right at the angle, doing a beautiful job beating up that back. A little hand slap, boom, right in the head. This gentleman on the, on the bottom, Miles, is absolutely blind. He has no idea where death sentence is. Keeps on going. Hits him in the back again. Whack. But see, this is the thing that is very impressive about this, is look at this angle he's at. If this gentleman didn't, wasn't so concerned about beating up this man's back and land the chin, his body is no way, shape or form to reciprocate that energy. He's gonna get, his whole head's gonna take the whole blow. So that was the biggest thing I noticed about this, that he got to this angle very fast and easy by jumping across the void in a crane style. And starting to beat down this man's back. Keeps on beating it back. Still on the, still on the angle. Still has an angle. Now he's just beating up the back. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> oh. Lose the mouthpiece. Still at that angle. Okay, I know you guys hear me talk about angles, but if this gentleman had any sense. A blast in that head. This gentleman would have ended the fight in two seconds like he said he was in the beginning of the fight. Fly knee from the angle. He's hit this guy probably 20 times from that angle because this gentleman is blind and he is absolutely spent. So that's why I'm always saying, you guys, go pop, pop, get to the angle. Now you can do whatever you want, especially if he's going to keep on looking the opposite way. You can keep on beating the little hell out of him. Look, three knees. Almost gets his back. Almost gets his back. Got 
I don't know what they're called, those punches, guys. I'm sorry. But then he breaks it up. But the biggest thing, I, like I said, I want to take away from this fight is like, look, 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 <laughs> what a little punk. Hey, yeah, why, 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 why? He self-consciously knew he was going to do this, too. Look, 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 look. Gets up. Gets up. If this was 007 and go to night on Nintendo 64, this man would be dishonorably discharged. From sh hit him from back of the head. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Y'all about to fight. Oh, man. See, that's why he lost the fight because he took off his death sentence uh, ban. Oh, here we go. <laughs> See, he gets that takedown, gets right in the side control, but he's doing a good job of flailing and keeping the gentleman off him. He can't really get his things, but he keeps hitting it back of the head. But this is where it happens right here. He grabs the back. In wrestling, we say there's nothing good behind you, right? Don't reach behind you because you're going to get pinned. But he gets locked in his uh, guillotine choke. There's nothing he can do. He's not fighting the hands. And then this gentleman just wrenches on the neck. That's it. And then he doesn't let go. He's being a dick. Uh, it is what it is. But boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown as much as I did watching. It was my first time watching. I have to watch it back twice. <laughs> because this is why I like doing this. Because sometimes you need a good laugh at, you know, guys trying. I'm never going to knock anybody for trying. The guy did a great job of crossing distance. The guy did a good, a good job of getting to the angle. He landed 20, 25 shots before the gentleman even recognized where he was at. And those are things that the pros can do at a very high level is that, like I said before, Travis Brown has done that, run across the cage, done it. Uh, Kid Yamamoto, RIP, he's done it. He's done a flying knee. Just running across the distance and throwing a flying knee or jumping across and just getting to somebody to get the fight going. Nobody trains that in the gym, and that's why it works. It's so successful because nobody trains that. So when you see someone run at you and jump at you, it's like, what the, what am I going to do? But you always see, we always train this. All right, round one, fight. Touch hands. Okay, let me establish my distance. Uh-uh. Death sentence, and what's going to do with that? So, boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live.